second. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. It's actually good afternoon for me. But depending on when you're watching this on our YouTube channel, we've got a special um, interview today. I'm interviewing Rebecca Lawrence, who I've known for a long, long time. Uh, when I when I first met her, what, what, what was your role at Cornerstone, you know, many years ago when you, you were helping lead a region? Uh, you, know, you know, I was originating, but also working with my husband on his team. Yeah, and, and, and the way I looked at it is you were really doing a great job at turning loan officers into mortgage coaches. You know, you and I connected. Uh, I came out and spoke and did training. Uh, Rebecca is an absolute leader in industry. Uh, Ninja Selling is a great book. Larry Kendall is an incredible leader in the real estate space and the mortgage space. And Rebecca has, you know, I don't know if there's anyone who has trained and coached more loan officers through Ninja Selling than you. Is that a, a fair thing to say? I think that would be fair um, in regards to the Ninja Mortgage Arena. Yeah. So before we get into just ideas to earn more referrals from your database, which guys, I think right now in this market, there's, there's no better lead than the lead you can get from your own database. And there's also no better lead to have a sustainable mortgage career. Uh, when you have a database that is constantly giving back, constantly coming back and constantly referring people back, you have a sustainable mortgage practice. And you know what? You're also incredibly valuable to realtors when you can do that. Um, so first of all, for anyone who's like, what's Ninja selling? And get you, if you could tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll get into the, the big idea at hand. You've got it. Over 30 years ago, uh, Ninja was founded by Larry Kendall up in Fort Collins, Colorado. And really, I think it's like anything that becomes great. Larry just ran his company and his teams in such a great way, kind of this go-giver mentality and was having such huge, huge success that the real estate industry reached out and said, wow, your 20X, um, your you know, transactions uh, per agent, your closings per agent, what are you doing? And so Larry says, well, hey, I can show you what you're, we're doing. I can show you what we train on and what we talk about. And really Ninja Selling was born that way. Yeah, so I want to make sure people heard that, you know, what Larry is well known for is running one of the most profitable, most efficient, and in, and in given years, real estate platform in America. And, and what I'm going to say now, I mean, I, I do think while real estate and mortgage are being professionalized, when you compare how real estate and mortgage run as a vertical compared to other verticals in the country, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not a shining light. Like there is a lot of inefficiency in our business. There's a lot of mortgage and real estate companies that are um, not run incredibly efficiently right. and, and profitably. And so to me, this is, a, this is a beacon of light. This is how one of the most profitable, most efficient real estate organizations in the history of America were run, wrote a book. So guys, if you get the book, Ninja Selling, go to Amazon, get it. And then there's also training. You know, that's what Rebecca does. She coaches and trains and turns loan officers into ninjas. Uh, now, now, one thing that Rebecca and I both align on is to be the highest level of ninja, you need to be a mortgage coach too. Uh, so let's let's transition into that because I know you had some very specific, like I want to teach. I think it's uh, out of the nine, ninja nine, we're going to talk about ninja seven. Is it ninja seven? You got it, Dave. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Like habit seven, Dave. <laughs> Lucky number seven, by the way. Yeah. Eleven. Well, habit number seven is well. Let me take a step back because some of you might be newer to uh, Ninja Mortgage and Ninja Selling. We have these three success keys, right? We talk about these three areas, which is mindset, skill set, and actions. And under actions, it's those daily and weekly habits that really stay you on track and create habits for success. So little segue there, but habit number seven is annual mortgage reviews. Now for our real estate partners, it's annual real estate reviews. So we introduce mortgage reviews and we're finding, you know, five- Time out, Time out. I, I just, guys, if you're not doing this, write this down, mindset, skill set, actions. And do you mind just so they have within context, I love that you call them habits because we all know that 
Right. Having a skill isn't a habit, but when you have a skill and you have a habit, magic happens. Would you mind just running us through, just give us like the table of contents of the Ninja Nine, and then let's drill down on seven. Yes. So the Ninja Nine, kind of a quick overview, is the first five are daily habits. The um, other four are weekly habits. And what we have found, you know, Larry having all of this incredible success, he's an, I would say he's an expert on human behavior. And so he started noticing what sets your day up for success and what sets your business up for success and profitability. So the first five are daily habits. Number one, starting your day with gratitudes and affirmations. That really falls under that mindset piece, right? Starting your day feeling great, serving others. Habit number two is show up. Showing up and being the best version of you. I show up in my office. I'm ready to go. I've got my day figured out. Habit three is writing two personal notes each day. Habit four and five are reaching out to your warm list and hot list, which I wish we had time for because if you pre-qualify someone or TBD approve them and say they'll call me when they're ready, we've learned that's not the fact, the case, right? And you want to increase conversion, those are two really good nuggets. And then we jump over to the weekly habits, which is we recommend ninjas make a minimum of 50 calls or connections each week. We call them live interviews, 50 live interviews. Um, I love that. Live interviews, you're, yes. you're learning, you're connecting. Uh, I love that, that nuance. And that's what it's about, Dave. You know, if I run into, which we've recently ran into each other a couple of places, I don't just want to say, hi, how are you? Good, good, good. We're moving on with our day. We use Ford conversations and Ford is family and friends. Like, hey, Dave, how's the family? O is occupation. How are things going at Mortgage Coach? I've seen you everywhere. I see everyone using you. <laughs> R is recreation and D is dreams. And so it's a way of having a conversation. There's annual mortgage reviews. But, but know, how many, and I know we'll get into this because this is going to be the topic at hand, but how many mortgage reviews a week or, you know, what is the, what is the goal? Now, we say a minimum of two, but take, for example, some of these incredible loan officers that have been in the business 20, 25 years. You can't do two a week. That, I mean, that's got to be your minimum. What we say is a minimum of two, of course, but I take my database size and I would divide it by the number of weeks that I'm working per year. This is such a beautiful way to offer that high level touch, adding value calling and connecting, maybe using that Ford conversation. And what we're seeing, the numbers coming in, it's a vital few activity, right? A vital few, meaning kind of that 80-20 rule. What's the best way for you to spend your day? Connecting with your database, which is kind of leading us into our topic, right? And mortgage reviews is kind of that segue to make it happen. Well, let's close out number eight or nine. I just want to write them down. Yeah, so weekly calls to those um, like update calls. And so as a ninja, we're calling our borrowers, our listing agents, and our selling agents every week with an update on the loan, building the relationship. And then number nine is updating your database every week. If you're talking to 50 people or more, you're writing 10 cards, you've got a lot of opportunities to grow your database. It, was, it, it sounds like an incredible nine habits that if implemented weekly and daily um, would lead to absolute success. So let's spend the rest of the call just drilling down on, on number seven and unpack it. You know, um, if you have questions for me around Mortgage Coach, I want to make sure that, you know, we, we've kind of got a collaboration here between Ninja Selling and Mortgage Coach. Uh, I might even throw a little bit of sales boomerang in there. Uh, let's, 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 let's crush number seven. If you are a ninja on this, like you're listening to this and you've been through ninja training, uh, you know, let us know down below how that helps. Like, I would love for this to become a, a piece of content that serves both the mortgage coach community and the ninja selling community. So comments are welcome. Questions are welcome. 
Uh, Rebecca and I will monitor this on um, YouTube and in our Facebook group. So let's let's rock it out. Where do let's you want to do it? So mortgage reviews, annual mortgage reviews, your chance once a year that you can reach out to those that you've served is what I like to say. And so there's two pieces. What was, would the mortgage review include and why in the world would we do them? So maybe I'll touch on those, Dave, and then I'd love your feedback. Um, the what you do, sometimes I'll hear loan officers say, well, they already have a great rate. Or it just takes me too long to put together a mortgage review. And I, I think that's why this is such a great conversation is you can put together a mortgage review in it's not a lot of time and you deliver such value. It's, it's a great opportunity to have a conversation and a slogan or saying we use a lot in Ninja is showing is better than telling. If I can show you the benefits of refinances, refinancing, for example, it means a lot more than just telling you why you should. Or if I can show you, you know, kind of a breakdown of a 30 versus a 15 year, it, it delivers such value. And even if they're doing nothing, we're more than just an interest rate. It's that education. It's that time to build a relationship. Yeah. What, would, what is the average time it takes to prepare an annual mortgage review? I think that would be great feedback. Yeah, well, I think, you know, so that you're you're asking me that question. Yeah. Yeah. So so there is no question that there is no mortgage coach TCA that should take more than five minutes. I mean, it is possible to take 10. Uh, but remember, you're that like you're pricing out a loan, you're looking it up in multiple yeah. places. And and it's also possible that it takes two minutes, depending on the lender you work for. You know, we have integrations with Optimal Blue and Compass. Uh, a lot of, I mean, we have CRMs that actually automate uh, uh, a total cost in an annual review. And then and then I can't help but show it, you know, like the, the fastest integration of all is if you have your database monitored by sales boomerang. So I, you know, I love, I love Ninja number nine, because I think the first thing everyone needs to get, you need to put the data in your CRM, you know, and and then you want to have a database that's monitored. You know, one, you need to be able to search it by annual review. And then two, you want to have a database that when there are events that happen in that database, um, the person just got into the money. You know, they, they have X equity now, or, or they ran a credit report with someone else, or they or they listed their home. You, you want to have a database that's monitored. And then the cool thing is, you know, this is the fastest way is if you have sales delivering and mortgage coach, we'll we'll literally create that annual re review like boom, like the awesome. machine will create version one, and and so like let's let's say it's a cash out, um, you could you could deliver a cash out uh, TCA now right now to do this it would require a couple minutes of augmentation so the machine would start it, but then loan officer would go in like yeah this is what I want to put together for the family. I, I would tell you in this market, guys, there there are cash out refis that turn into move up buyers right. and referrals back to, to agents. Uh, I do think as rates start to head down, which they are starting to do, um, one, we're going to see more listings, uh, you know, and, and then two, when when loans actually get into the money. Now, this is not an annual review, but like if this is a consumer where, oh, the market's this, they're this. Uh, we're also automatically creating a, a mortgage coach total cost analysis then. So, so you know, to me, anyone listening to this, uh, audit yourself. If you can't do it in five minutes or less, uh, I'll put a link down below to a, how to create a TCA in five minute training. Oh, awesome. And, and then also remember for anyone that has a team, um, you know, a lot of top producers will delegate the creation of the TCA to a team member, and then the the you know the top producer, the team leader, will actually deliver the conversation. Oh, um, I, I think it's a win-win. I love those slides that you just shared. I think it's the crosswalk with you don't know what's going on in someone's life unless you have a live conversation with them. And so, what are their needs? And I think even kind of that second layer to it is some research that came out of Harris Interactive, and what they said is the average homeowner knows four people doing something in real estate every year. So what I would say to that is we're swimming in abundance. So don't 
sometimes we have that internal dialogue where we make a decision like, oh, well, Dave's fine on his mortgage. I'm not going to do the mortgage review. He's fine. And taking a step back and saying, it's not about me. It's about having that conversation, delivering that value, that education. Because if every person in your database knows on average four people doing something in real estate, the opportunity is pretty enormous. Yeah, you know, I, I love what you just said. And, you know, Rebecca and I, when, when we first kind of wrote the headline for this, I wrote it is, you know, how to get more loans from your database now. And then she's like, well, you know, really, you know, that's a value, but an even bigger value is referrals. And I, I then said, oh, how to get more referrals. And she's like, well, no, really it's earn. How do you earn more referrals? So that guys, that is the headline. There was some tension into how we position this. Um, speak to that. You know, if you could speak to what does it mean to earn a referral? Well, and you you hit it on the head, right? We earn them. Sometimes I'll hear loan officers say, well, I, I just want to get referrals. And I'll say, well, you don't get them. You don't just, you know, <laughs> go fishing for them. You get trout. Earning referrals means that you're delivering value and you're delivering education and you're earning the business. In fact, at Ninja, we say you access the referrals, which is what I think a annual mortgage review does. You access the referral and then through the conversation and the trust and the education and the value you're creating, then you earn it. So it's accessing and earning referrals. And once you earn their referrals, which is that trust of their family and friends, I think that's when we really start going to that next level in production where we we skyrocket, right? I hope everyone on you know this Facebook Live realizes the abundance. If I can earn, I mean, could you imagine earning just one referral from every name in your database? It, it would change your your life, definitely your business. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. Um, a few things you just said now made me think of um, a presentation that I was at yesterday. I went to an event called Momentum Builder. Oh, yeah. I, I was um, honored enough to get to introduce Kelly Zitlow. She uh, came on stage and she had a shirt on that said, unforgettable. Like, you know, it's just like this black shirt, unforgettable. Yes. She, she gave a presentation about, you know, what, what it means to her and how she delivers an unforgettable experience. And so... Uh, guys, first of all, delivering and doing annual reviews is a, it's a cornerstone to being unforgettable. You know, like obviously doing a five-star level um, transaction doesn't make you forgettable. It makes you, you wowed them at the moment, you earned the business, you closed the business, but trust me, you are forgettable. Uh, you know, you, you know, to be um, unforgettable, you got to wow them. So first of all, be a mortgage coach deliver that amazing experience that goes beyond the transaction, which Kelly does, put, put videos on it so that you're, you know, you're delivering value. Uh, Jay Kroll is another uh, leader that is both a, a ninja and a mortgage coach. Uh, and, and, and guys, these top producers, they're using their CRM, they're delivering unforgettable experiences, and then they're doing annual reviews. And, and I really think an annual review is, it's just a, it's a service beyond the normal experience. Uh, speak to the fact that I think a lot of loan officers, they don't see the value in it because they're like, oh, rates are high. So I don't have time for that. Yes. Speak, if you could share, like if you were at a lesson, you know, doing a ninja training, why like, don't go just chase loans. It's not about what rates are. It's not like you're hunting for a loan. You're, you're trying to deliver service and you're trying to be unforgettable. Could you just speak to that? Because I think particularly this market, rates are high, people are deprioritizing that because they don't feel there's enough loans down. Could you speak right. to that? Well, there's really a couple things that come to mind, which that internal dialogue, right? We just have to squash it because one of the things we say at Ninja is you control the process and your borrowers control the decisions. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's up to us to decide, oh, they have their rate's fine. Well, you don't know what their debt is. It's, it's becoming that trusted advisor. I don't know if you can say you're really a trusted advisor if you're not calling and having high-level conversations. It's, it's the personal connection, kind of what we call the Ford conversation. It's the education. It's talking about the market. 
it's finding out what's important to their family and friends. It doesn't matter how low their rate is if they've been laid off and need to move. It doesn't matter how low their rate is if they're drowning in credit card debt. It doesn't matter how low their rate is if they just found out yesterday they're having triplets. You have to know what's going on in people's lives, really deliver value, control the process. Yes, have a great process, but let them control the decisions. Just you know, tee it up for them to make the best decisions for their family. And guys, that's what it takes to earn the referral and earn the client for life. You know, that that Ford process is fantastic. Uh, for any new loan officers that you're hearing Ford for the first time, you know, write it down, you know, family, occupation, uh, R is for recreation. And guys, D is for dreams. And that is, to me, the big differentiator between loan officers and mortgage advisors Loan officers sell transactions. Here's your rate. Here's your payment. I'll close it on time. And, and advisors sell dreams. Oh, your goal is to have your own paid off when you're 60, have a second home, and have at least one rental. Oh, oh your goal is to, you know, when your kids um, go to college, help them buy a duplex. Oh, oh, your goal is to, you know, and by the way, guys, we're in mortgage. And I do think we are in an era now where we need to we need to help consumers, you know, because 63% of all families have a rate that starts with a two or three. And 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 another 20% starts with four. So guys, 80% of every mortgage in America uh is you know four, three, or two. And rates are five, nine, six, one as of today. <laughs> so so you're not calling up and trying to do rate and term refis you know you're you're calling up and you're you're trying to create opportunities yeah. and and um and by the way tell me you agree with this let's let's rip on some opportunities you <laughs> named some just a minute ago but one that i am really passionate about because people have equity so we know that there's a lot of equity and let's face it there's an affordability crisis in america so first-time home buyers need help what do you what do you think about during annual reviews to be looking for kids either graduated from high school that are going to college and say, hey, family, you know, there's house hacking strategies, there's buy a duplex, triplex, or look for families where they have a kid graduating and, and start really planting that seed for, you know, have you thought about, you know, with house hacking or units, um, have you thought about helping your, your child um, get in the real estate game and build wealth with real estate? What are your, what are your thoughts on that? Dave, I love that question. Yes, I, I think that's a huge opportunity. And I think that's kind of this next decade that we're going into with this increased equity. You know, the NBA said the average homeowner has 300,000 in equity right now. Uh, one of my favorite questions when I have annual mortgage reviews would be sound something like this. Hey, Dave, you know, how's the family? How's work? Well, tell me this. If you were to sell your house today, what do you think it would sell for? Because if you say 500 and I know that you bought it for 250, I want to know, well, where do you think? So about 250,000 in equity, what are your plans for that? So I think that's one conversation. The other one that we talk a lot about at Ninja is Larry actually developed a training and it's called a house for every child. Mm -hmm. And it's a way of investing. And we probably won't have time to really dive into that, but it talks about how do you invest in real estate? Because if, I buy a house when my child's young. And if I can put it on a 15 year, 15 year fantastic, if not 30 is fine. But when they're 18 and ready to go to college, they can pretty much go to any college they want. So how can you add value to your database and say, I'm gonna, if you have children, I'd love to invite you into the seminars called A House for Every Child and do a training about how you can invest in real estate as you, to uh, deliver on those dreams, if you will, for your children. And then the next level to that class, of course, is investing. And there's so many angles off of that. I get a little excited about it, but yeah, I mean, there's huge opportunity if you just serve your clients well. So so guys, I want you, hope you all wrote down that house for every child. I mean, that yeah. is that would make America stronger that would help you as a mortgage professional, that would help the realtors you served if you became a master at that conversation. And between Ninja 
um, you know, teaching the soft skills of leadership. Um, I, I don't even call it sales training. I call it um, service training, like how to be a professional, like how to be an advisor. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Ninja. I hope, you know, for those that are hearing that for the first time, you know, at a minimum, you'll, you'll, you'll get the book and at a maximum, you'll go through the training. Uh, and then, and then from a mortgage coach standpoint, you know, learn how to deliver a family, you know, really something much more valuable than a loan, you know, advice always beats price. So, yes. you know, be delivering a uh, rent versus own, even though the family may own a home. They might have bought it just because, hey, that's the American dream. I could afford it. Three bedrooms serves my kids, but they haven't really looked at what that means for their kids. I, you know, one of my goals, and I'm going to be starting a nonprofit and announcing that soon. It's it's called First Home IQ. You guys can go check it out. Okay. And and it's it's a nonprofit dedicated to helping all kids between the age of 16 and 21 understand what what owning a home could mean, you know, because let's face it, they're not getting it in college, they're not getting it in high school, uh, you know, and by the way, they are, and, and sometimes they're not getting it at home, so how do we just make sure that as kids go through that period, whether they graduate from high school or college or not, that there's content and information to enlighten them around home ownership, so, so wow. how can people, if they want to get more on Ninja Selling, how can they follow you? How can they, you know, get more, sign up? Absolutely. Of course, uh, ninjaselling.com is a great resource. You can learn about Ninja. You can find events coming up. Uh, we work with a lot of the top real estate companies across the country. And find me on LinkedIn. There's lots of uh, fit social media posts for Ninja Selling. Find us online or reach out, you know, personally. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Yeah, and this would be another thing for, you know, my coaching advice for mortgage coaches is uh, every realtor in America is recruitable right now, more recruitable than they've ever been. The market's tough. Uh, let's face it, they've never had to be realtors where all the listing appointments they're going on, rates have a, you know, the family has a two, three, or a four. And, and so they need training. They need advice. And, and so I always tell loan officers, first of all, make sure you know the production level of the realtor that you're going out on. You know, there's lots of databases to do that. Right. Dan Keller talked about that. But I would start asking realtors if they're ninja. You know, have you been through ninja training? First of all, you're gonna be surprised how many of the most professional realtors in America, I did say professional realtors in America. Um, by the way, how many realtors have been through ninja training? You know, uh, Over 100,000. Crazy, guys. So 100,000 ninja realtors. And, and then, by the way, if there's 100,000 ninja realtors, if you're not ninja trained as a loan officer, like, you try, think about it. If there's 100,000 of these super professional realtors and you can't talk ninja with them, you're, you're at a disadvantage. So um, make sure you follow ninja. Uh, anything else you want to, you, either a question you have for me or something you want to make sure people hear within this session? I think it's just really um, hitting or driving in that if those that are saying right now, I have nothing to do, I would say, you know what? I hope Dave and I's conversation shows you that this is your opportunity. Get great um, at mortgage coach, get it to where you can do them and put them together in five minutes, work on your communication skills and say, where am I going to start? Turn it into action. St you know what? Start tomorrow reach out to just two people and offer to do a mortgage coach, an annual mortgage review. And then you know what, do two more on Monday. Don't overthink it, don't get in your own way. This could be a huge game changer. And I might just wrap up by saying, we've noticed about a 33% return on reviews. And what I mean by that is if you do a hundred, and I'm gonna share some of the real estate review numbers just because we've tracked them for 25 years, but we're seeing the same numbers in mortgage reviews is if you sit down and share value, the real estate reviews have shown for every 100 they have, 33 are doing something. So it might not even be that, that they're gonna do something. They have a rating of two or three, they don't need it. Again, it's that referral. 33% are leading to a referral usually. Maybe it's that second home, it's that investment property. Get out of your own way, pick up the phone and deliver value. Love that. And I'm gonna close out 
where we started with an audit of yourself mindset. Number one, you know, where, where is your mindset today? And, and you may have a positive mindset, but do you have a mindset of service? Uh, and, and, and then skill set. If you don't know how to do annual reviews, you don't know how to do a rep versus own, you don't know how to do a move up analysis, uh, you know, you don't have the skill sets to, to thrive in this market. And then actions. Uh, you may be, you know, going, oh, yeah, I got the mindset. I got this, but I'm not doing the actions. Well, I would just say, well, you don't have the mindset, but just do a little 360 audit on those two, three um, ninja. What do, we, what do we call those ninja? Is there a term like ninja habits? Ninja so there's the ninja people. nine and then the three success keys. The three success keys. <laughs> Check it out. So, uh, Rebecca, I hope I get to see you in the physical world, like, you know, at an event. Hey, <laughs> Yeah. And uh, thank you for this amazing gift to the mortgage coach community. You bet. Thanks for having me, Dave. All right. Take care, everybody. Make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have some big news coming next Tuesday on the 14th. I'll put a link down below. We're going to be making a very big announcement uh, in mortgage coach sales boomerang land. And uh, this is a wrap. Take care, everybody.